The largest scam in the history of the Internal Revenue Service, and yet there's a warning tonight from the IRS that it continues to victimize people. Three on your sides, Gary Harper joins us with a story of how a Valley man almost fell for that scam. Well, listen to these numbers. The Internal Revenue Service has already confirmed that 3,000 people have been scammed out of $14 million, and it all begins with a phone call. In the beginning, I thought it was very legit. I was scared. I mean, I, I started to tear up. I even was, was shaking a little bit. Edward Antolik lives in Chandler, and the phone call that shook him up Hello? came from someone saying they were with the Internal Revenue Service. Edward didn't have a chance to record the call, but other people have. One of the Sheriff County officers will arrest you. At the time, you can verify that was the mistake done by you. Phone calls from people claiming to be with the IRS are saturating not only Valley residents, but people all around the nation. But before IRS takes any legal action against your name and your social security number, Call us back as soon as possible. They really put on a great show. They'll, they'll have you convinced. The convincing and intimidating calls claim that people like Edward owe back taxes. As for Edward, they gave him this figure. Yeah, they said $1,800. And if he didn't pay that $1,800, well, there would be trouble. Edward remembers the threat well. You either pay the fine or the police are going to come and pick you up. As a matter of fact, they're on their way right now. The IRS phone scam, as it's called, has been exposed by Three on Your Side numerous times. But so many people are being suckered into the scam and sending money they don't really owe that the IRS just issued another alert saying the IRS has seen a surge of these phone scams in recent months as scam artists threaten police arrest, deportation, license revocation, and other things. I teared up because <laughs> the very last thing I wanted was to go to jail because I'm going to lose my job if I go to jail. Edward was so scared and convinced by the caller that he considered paying the $1,800. After all, he didn't want to be arrested, and who wants a problem with the IRS? But then he says the caller claiming to be with the IRS made a weird request. Whatever you do, don't hang up the phone and tell me everything you're doing. Sounds crazy, but a few months ago, a Valley woman told Three on Your Side how a similar caller actually stayed on the phone with her as she drove to the bank, withdrew nearly $2,000, and forwarded him all that money, only to find out later she had been duped. Edward is glad he didn't fall for the scam, but says he can see how others might be fooled. It makes me very angry. Uh, after I was done, I was shook up for about an hour after that before I actually settled down and, and all I could think of was what can I do, what can I do to alert everybody and that's when I thought of Three on Your Side. Well, Three on Your Side has received numerous emails from folks. In fact, these are just a few right here that we got just this month and the emails all want to ask the same thing. I got a call from the IRS and I want to know if it's legitimate. Well, no. It's not a legitimate call. Always remember, the IRS, they won't phone you, they won't email you, and they won't text you. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.